Okay, now today's episode is very strange to me. We are going to be discussing the time the Powerpuff Girls had a disabled sister. <laughs> So be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Season 2, Episode 11, Twisted Sister. Now this episode kicks off pretty chill with the civilians of Townsville just cooling it on a peaceful Sunday evening. Then we see them just being totally oblivious to the Powerpuff Girls just kicking in the background. I mean, literally, they were fighting a whole monster in the background and everybody is just ignoring it. We then see montages of pretty much how every day is for the girls in the city of Townsville. I mean, come on, bro. At this point, you might as well just call the National Guard to that city and have them on standby because this sh is ridiculous. So of course the girls are tired at the end of the day when the professor comes in and tells them they have chores to do even with everything they had just did. Like yeah bruh, they been out saving the world all day professor and you just stayed at home off all day. The least you can do is chores around the house my guy. So the girls are pretty much tired of his shenanigans when they decide to create a fourth Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> The first thing we need is... Keep in mind the professor used specific ingredients when making them, but they literally just throw any and everything that comes to mind in the pot. Then they accidentally add the final ingredient, Chemical X, and end up creating this huge, buff, disabled woman child. What the f Power what? She's strong as f and can't even talk properly, as you can see. So the girls decide to name her Bunny and explain to her that she's a Powerpuff girl and now has a lot of responsibility. They tell her she needs to fly around and fight bad guys and to also throw them in jail, as if she can even comprehend any of this. They then send their disabled sister into the city head first. Oh, go, I'm not laughing. You better not be laughing either. So Bunny flies into the city and beats up pretty much the first people she sees, which was the cops instead of the actual robbers. We are then taken to the living room when the professor walks in and asks the girls if they had any crime today. They tell him they have it under control when they then see a news report about a deranged Powerpuff girl causing mayhem in the city of Townsville. It seems one of the Powerpuff girls has gone muy loco. She's been releasing prison from jail and imprisoning the police. The girls rush into the city to find their disabled sister beating up and choking a cop when What have you done? Barnett do good. The girls pretty much tell her that what she's doing is actually bad and that she's not cut out to be a Powerpuff girl. She then gets upset and rushes off. <laughs> Okay, bro, I'm a chill. So pretty much the girls are jumped by every convict in town because Bunny had let them all out. This is when the announcer says the funniest shit. Oh, Bunny, where are you, Bunny? Are oh, your sisters need you? <laughs> we are then taken back to Bunny. Okay, I'm done for this time. So Bunny hears the girls call for help and immediately rushes back into the city and beats the brakes off the convicts, literally. This is when things get strange, when she starts to literally disintegrate right before our very eyes. <laughs> She randomly explodes. I mean, my G went out like Vegeta, literally. But anyways, that's pretty much the end of this episode. I don't know what type of drugs the writers were on when they wrote this episode, because I seriously don't know if it was supposed to be dark or funny. Like literally this episode has no purpose. But let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments down below. And until next time, peace.